Welcome to the Museum of Virtual Media, an interactive 3D world inspired by ideas developed in the book entitled Infinite Reality, written by Jim Blaskovich and Jeremy Balinson. This museum, first of all, is the home of stories and storytellers. Here, a traditional Arabic storyteller gestures to his audience. The storyteller and his listeners experience a common imaginary space that lives within the teller's voice and gestures, a shared virtual reality parallel to the real world. Shahrazad is probably the world's most famous storyteller, a fictional character from the Arabian Nights who saves her own life by telling enchanting tales to her murderous husband, the Sultan. Storytellers appear in all cultures and historic periods. This museum of virtual media looks at stories and storytellers in the broadest sense. All communications technologies tell stories and create virtual experiences in their own unique way. As the 20th century media theorist Marshall McLuhan said, the medium is the message. The spoken and gestured word is our oldest and most primary communications medium. Early storytellers drew pictures on cave walls near Lascaux, France, over 17,000 years ago. Undoubtedly, their spoken voices were joined with these rock-sculpted drawings to communicate ideas about the world around them. 5,000 years ago, ancient Babylonians began using a reed stylus to imprint wedge-shaped marks onto clay tablets to represent ideas. These are considered to be the first known written words. Around the same time, Egyptian hieroglyphics began appearing on stone surfaces, in buildings, and on tablets. Later, Egyptians used papyrus, a plant that was dried and flattened into a portable writing surface. Many centuries later, Johannes Gutenberg combined a wine press, ink, paper, and movable type to build the first printing press around 1450 in Mainz, Germany. Written words were distributed by their first mass communication device. Gutenberg also published the first printed Bibles. Modern science was born from early published articles from this time period. The 19th century and the Industrial Revolution brought new inventions, such as Louis Daguerre's camera and photographic prints from around 1840. By the mid-19th century, communications was powered by electricity for the first time, beginning with the telegraph and later the telephone, phonograph, radio, and motion picture. The 20th century brought movies with sound, television, and televised entertainment. With the launching of Telstar in 1962, a global communications network was growing, joined together by satellite and cable. Along with global networks, by the mid-20th century, a new communications carrier was invented, the digital word, consisting of a binary language of zeros and ones. The digital word brought with it computers, smartphones, video games, and the World Wide Web, all powered by a core invention of the digital age, the microprocessor. The digital word offers us the possibility to communicate in three-dimensional spaces. It promises a world of direct communication using multiple senses without the burden of visible hardware. The Museum of Virtual Media will take you on a journey through direct interaction with the spoken word, written word, printed word, electronic word, and digital word, with lots of surprises and unexpected turns along the way. Make sure to check out the video kiosk and map to your right and find out the various ways you can explore the museum. Enjoy your visit.